Welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, March 30th, 2018, and we are very excited to have L.A. Salami in the studio with us today. Take it away into your first song whenever you're ready. There's a party on Juno Beach But I can't face going outside The wet rag just might hear me preach That I like my sentiments dry watching Audio Tree Live with L.A. Salami. You guys, thank you so much for being here. It sounds amazing. Thank you. I know you guys drove through the night to get here from Minneapolis, right? Mm. So how are you feeling with uh, so much driving under your belt? Uh, I, feel, I feel pretty okay, actually. Good. Personally. I'm glad. Um, so you've been on a pretty extensive U.S. tour at this point. Um, how Do you have a favorite U.S. city that you've been to in the past, on, on this tour? I think San Francisco, everyone, sort of, the whole consensus was that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all been pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I, I personally have been uh, it's <laughs> blown away by the response, like um, people singing along to stuff that 
you know, too many words and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I would think that people wouldn't uh, memorise it. And just, yeah, just uh, American audiences have a giving nature <laughs> about them. Have a lot of fervor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so I know that you have people in pretty much every city who will, like, help put you up. Do you get those... Do you get those rooms via like social media or is it the people you know in the cities that you'll stay at um well i've i put up this post um about accommodation uh there was a lot of response Mm -hmm. and yeah there's been a lot of uh people who just like the music and want to help that's awesome Yeah. yeah actually um i'm i'm housing my first band tonight oh yeah so do you have any um tips anything that you would a dream situation something you look for in the house you're staying in towel a towel (laughs) i i made sure to lay out towels so a plate of mushrooms maybe a plate of mushrooms (laughs) normal or hallucinogenic (laughs) Hallucinogenic. (laughs) all right cool i'll Um, make sure to get that um yeah Uh, water all right cool all (laughs) right pillow wow okay so (laughs) not too much so the mm. bar's pretty low. <laughs> Just a place to sleep, a place yeah, to maybe shower. Yeah, as long shower. as there's a roof over their heads. All and right. It's pretty cold here, so, you know, that counts for a lot. All right, so I won't make them sleep outside. Yeah. All right, these you are could, all good things. If you wanted to, but yeah. they don't If they're into it, I will <laughs> let them sleep in the backyard. Uh, all right, well, thank you for your insight, mm-hmm. and no uh, I'm excited to hear the next few songs. The song is called Who's Casting Us Now?
shadows fade away Doubts get bolder My fears learn to stray The stars lose meaning Future condenses past I want for nothing In the age of Subsequential dreams Primes the mover Born to hatch this scheme The seeds he set effect As they learn the dance But there is no evil In the age of love the planet cascade Rock the beast in you from death perspective. All moves like fields of grass, cause time's still solid. Watching Audio Tree Live with Ali Salami. This is great, guys. That was a beautiful song. Thank you. Um, and so I want to talk. Speaking of songs, I want to talk a little bit about songwriting. Um, so, in my research, and also just you know, hearing your music, you write prolifically, and just seemingly, you write concept albums. Do, would you agree? Do you do you set out to write concept albums when you're writing? Um, if uh, you mean like just in terms of running theme, yeah, I suppose. Uh, it's not, it doesn't always work out how you picture it in your head, mm -hmm. but um, the idea is for no song to be wasted mm -hmm. in the collection, in a particular collection anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I've yet to 
do the Pacific concept album, I would like. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do that in the future? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so that being said, do you, uh, I read one thing about the world that a certain album that you had uh, released lived in. And is that this world or do sort of you like create a world when you're writing the album that you like picture it in, if that makes sense? Um, uh, which world did you read about? I, I can't remember exactly which album it was, but I suppose that sort of answers the question, I suppose, because <laughs> um, does each album have a separate world, I guess? Um, yeah, I think it, they all occupy different corners of the same world. Mm -hmm. So, like, this one is um, it's called The City of Bootmakers, mm -hmm. and The City of Bootmakers is, you know, this... Uh, um, hypothetical city. Uh, um, it's got a lot to do with my name. Uh, mm -hmm. And oh, <laughs> I, let me try and round this up as, <laughs> as precisely as possible, which won't happen. But um, there's the preamble anyway. Um, so my name means king to a house of honors, and uh, it refers to this adage uh, to be a bootmaker to a king. Mean, meaning a king is nothing without his boots and is nothing without his bootmakers. Mm -hmm. And then the bootmakers refers to uh, people that inspire you or things that inspire you or events. Um, and the city of bootmakers is referring to that city, um, which also uh, goes hand in hand with the band name, mm -hmm. uh, which I have an alternate band or in that reality, Lookman and the Bootmakers exists. Um, <laughs> does that make any sense? No, that made a lot of sense. Okay. That's really interesting. Um, so in this album that's coming up, is it, are you the narrator in the songs? Like, is it you, Lookman, or is it, are you writing, like, characters? Uh, there were a couple where I've just taken characters, mm -hmm. but it's for satirical purposes. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I think it's me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd have to think back about all the songs on there um but yeah yeah interesting mm -hmm. um and then one more question that i suppose is sort of large but I'm gonna ask it anyway do you think that as a songwriter it's sort of a a important role that, that a songwriter has is to comment on the world around him and her um I don't know. I've been listening. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of trap recently. Uh -huh. I've just, I've just given up. <laughs> uh, it's, and it's like, no, you don't have to. It's yeah. just like depending on what you're going for. Yeah. Like, no one, no one wants to listen about the world all the time. Sometimes you just want to dance in a club. Yeah, absolutely. Or whatever. Um, but it's just like, for me personally, I, I would have to mm -hmm. because. Otherwise, it would feel uh, pointless. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, yeah, it's more interesting to say something to me personally. But I, I sometimes just like hearing anything. Yeah. Then I don't need to be sold a, a particular view on the world Absolutely. personally. But if as a creator, I probably have to... Um, I come from a place where the music has to mean something. Mm -hmm. Um, more than sound, I guess. Yeah, I absolutely understand that. Well, thank you so much. I uh, love hearing what you, you have to say. And mm. Your music is beautiful. <laughs> I'm excited to hear the last song. Um, so I to play it. This is on the new album, which is out on April the 13th. It's called What Is This?
cheek of the maestro as he walks down Dalston Lane. He came here from Forest Hill looking for the grayscales, looking for a place to stay. A costed day. this
This has been Audio Tree Live at LA Salami. If you are in Chicago, he will be playing with Cat Clyde, who will also be live at Audio Tree in a few hours, um, at Shuba's. And his new album, The City of Bootmakers, will be out in a few weeks. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank it you. It's beautiful. And I want to thank everybody at Audio Tree who keeps this going, the Cameron Lighting crew, and the sound engineers. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?